Hey, what's good? It's your girl T Chanel, and welcome to my channel, boo. Mwah! Yes, we are here. I have haul. I mean, I have researched and researched. I have reviewed a bunch of different people, and I have hauled some of what a lot of people are saying are the top spring and summer Middle Eastern fragrances. Okay, we have a top tier video today, okay? We have a Tom Ford dupe, we have a Parfums de Marley dupe, we have a, another mixture between Parfums de Marley and another perfume. I mean, so many different things. I am so excited and we're gonna talk about everything from beginning to end. We're gonna talk about the notes. We're gonna talk about what it's giving and not giving. We're gonna talk about is it really a dupe or is it in its own lane? All of that. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Before we begin, you know what I'm gonna ask you, right? Are you subscribed? Have you been checking out my videos here and there? Or this is your first time here? If so, we love to talk about beauty. We love to talk about fragrance. Everything else in between. It's all about smelling good, looking good, and feeling good, okay? So if that's you, come on, enjoy the tea fam, okay? Ride with your girl, vibe with your girl. Subscribe to your girl. Hit that button below. And if you're already subscribed, you're a real one, like, you are a real one. Thank you for riding with your girl. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with a Tom Ford dupe, okay? There's a Tom Ford um, Neroli fragrance. It's a man and woman's fragrance. I will go ahead and insert a picture so you can see the fragrance. But this is from Maison Alhambra, and it's called Porto Neroli. Porto Neroli, I hope you can... Can you see this? You can see it. <laughs> okay, yeah, Porto Neroli. So yes, it's already mimicking Tom Ford being in this box, but let's open it, talk about the notes, and let's spray it. Okay, so the notes on Porto Neroli. Top, Neroli, lemon, mandarin orange, jasmine, bitter orange. The mid, orange blossom, lavender, sea salt. And the base, herbal notes, uh, it says wormwood, is that right? Wormwood, okay, and amber. <laughs> oh my gosh, have you heard of a fragrance of wormwood? I don't know. Okay, so let's spray it. Wow. Okay, it's giving freshness. Definitely giving lemon. Was there bergamot at the top? So there's no bergamot, but I smell a neroli, there's orange. I'm smelling a bunch of citrus. That's why I thought there's bergamot, but no, it's actually orange in the top and the mid. And yeah, am I getting any of the other notes? A little bit of herbalness, I guess. But like sea salt, I don't know. Lavender is there for sure. Um, amber, no. So, I don't know, but this one is interesting to me. I want to see how it'll be on my skin. I wore actually Scent of Peace today, and it's just so beautiful, mixed with salt water, salt water breeze from Bath and Body Works. That combination right there is outstanding. It lasted me over 10 hours, the two, so really did enjoy it. But it's been over 10 hours, and it's more than well into a skin set. It's basically gone, so. So yeah, we're gonna spray it. Let's spray it on the inside here and let's come back to it after we spray here at the end of the video and let's talk about it. Hmm. It's very, very orange. Like, you have to like orange in order to like this scent. Like, very, very orange. But let's see, once it dries down, let's see what it's giving. And it might get better when it macerates, so let's see. All right, this next fragrance has been hyped. When I tell you it's been hyped, it's been hyped. It's supposed to be a dupe for Parfums de Marley Valaya. 
I've been interested in Valaya, but you know, it hasn't, like when I first sprayed it, it was okay to me. It didn't, it wasn't riveting. It's not like I felt like I had to get it right when I sprayed it. However, it has been in the back of my mind and it's on my list. So when I heard that there's a dupe, I'm like, okay, well, you know, $200, $300 versus, you know, $20 or $30. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the $20, $30. So yes, this is none other than Afnon Mystique Bouquet. Okay, look at the flowers in the box. It's cute. Let's open it. Okay, so here it goes. Oh, and it's in its box. This is so cute. All right, look. These Middle Eastern bo boxes, like the packaging and the bottles are really giving. Okay, look at that. Even the back of it. Look, there's like some flowers or something in it. That's cute. All right, the notes on Mystique Bouquet, the top white peach, mandarin orange, bergamot, and lychee. The mid orange blossom vetiver, is it magnolia? Did I mean to put magnolia? I don't know, child. And peony, I was writing this quick. <laughs> okay, and the base, ambroxan, musk, vanilla, and oak moss. Oh my God. If you are really giving all those notes that you say that you're giving, like you and me might become best friends right now, like for spring and summer. We really, really might. <laughs> and I need you. So let's see. Okay, nice top. All right, let's spray. Nice atomizer. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. No, no way. Really? This is what you're giving out this box? Oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh, we're gonna have to spray this on skin. Like, okay, okay. And the Porter Neroli is drying down very strong with Neroli right now. The orange has died down from that opening, but this right here, oh my God, this is smelling beautiful. Mm. Oh my goodness, Mystique Bouquet. Wow, wow. The peach is peaching and it definitely is a white peach. White peach to me is a little bit softer than your regular, you know, juicy, orange reddish peach right it's a little bit lighter lychee i'm not getting that much of i smell the vanilla that's there i mean this is a beautiful fragrance and it smells smooth it smells blended it is a floral but there's jasmine in there that's holding strong balanced with the fruit and you know the freshness Wow, this is a very, very, very nice scent. Like, I am, like, surprised. You saw my reaction when I first smelled this thing. Like, what? Afnon, I thought it was Mason Alhambra from my last, um, my last perfume haul. Mason Alhambra was bringing it with the, um, Satin Oud and also the Gentle Gold, but Mystique Bouquet? Like this is a likable scent. Like if you were looking for a very nice Middle Eastern fragrance, I know that I haven't um, tried it. You know, it's my first impression, but based off of first impressions, like this is a safe blind buy. A 100% a safe blind buy. Wow, that's a nice scent. It really, really is. I, I am impressed. I knew it was supposed to give, but dang. Mystique Bouquet trying to knock me off my chair. Just a... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't move forward yet. This is smelling like Valaya. It's dried down and it's smelling like Valaya. Like, this is crazy. It's a beautiful set. This is a Oh my God, Mystique Bouquet. Sexy, sweet, likable, not too much, but giving you enough. It is beautiful. It's drying down and it's smelling like Valaya. Like this literally is, I think it's about 
95% Valaya, literally. So, yeah, take that for free and go go on ahead. Just just go ahead and do it. If you're interested, just go ahead and do it. <laughs> okay, next we have Rosa One from Swiss Arabian. This is supposed to be a dupe between. Delina and I believe Delina La Rose. Uh, I'm not that big of a fan of Delina. However, watching reviews and things, it looks like it was going to be a good scent. Ooh, something dropped out, but look. Wow. Look at Rose or what? These bottles, y'all. Like, do you see this bottle? Look at the top of this bottle. It is so beautiful. The bottle itself is a beautiful, sexy red. Really do love this. Wow, this is nice, Swiss Arabian. This is nice. So the notes on Rose 01, the top, we have Litchi again, just like the last one, Bergamot again, and then Pink Pepper. The mid is Bulgarian Rose, Peony, and Nutmeg. Hmm. The base, musk, vanilla, and cashmere. Wow, those notes sound beautiful. Let's go ahead, take off the top, and let's spray it. It is so exciting smelling a new fragrance. Like, <laughs> in my mind, there's no feeling like it. Ooh, okay, I smelled you from over there. Wow, this seems like it'll be strong. You do get the lychee. Rose is definitely prevalent in this fragrance. Wow, it's musky, it's rosy. But it's different than, it's giving me Delina vibes, but it's not like all the way Delina. So I do appreciate that. You know what this is reminding me of? It's reminding me of Bond Number no. Nine's Gold Coast, okay? If you have Bond Number no. Nine's Gold Coast, or you're, you've been looking into Gold Coast, this right here, it reminds me of that. It's a rose, but it's fresh, it's aquatic, it has some fruits in it, but it brings a fresh vibe. It's like Gold Coast mixed with a little bit of the original Delina, a little bit of La Rose as well. This is nice, we gonna have to spray, look. All right now, okay Middle East, you re you really coming with it. Nothing is on the top of my hand, let's spray. And yeah, we're gonna come back and review all of these, but this is just like, I'm actually a little bit blown away because Mystique Bouquet, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm gonna be saying that the whole video, it is outstanding, so beautiful. Then, now this Rosa One. Mm, Rosa One is good. It's Let's see how it goes on the skin, because Mystique Bouquet is just outstanding. So, let's compare it to Rosa One and, and keep going with this video, because I'm not trying to get stuck right now. <laughs> Up next, Paris Corner. This is Taskeen. Taskeen, and let me tell you something. Taskeen is smelling through the box. Like, literally, this box is smelling like the tropics. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open it because it's ready to make its debut. The inside of the box is a pretty pink. Let's see. Okay, it's just sitting down in there. And here is Taskeen. Sorry, it's called Taskeen Marina. Apologize about that. Wow, look at this bottle. This is a pretty bottle. Really love the ombre effect. It's orange on the top, I don't know if you can see, and it goes down to like a pinkish purple. The top is nice. Okay, let's go over the notes for Tasking Marina, Paris Corner. The top, tropical orange and grapefruit. The mid, lily of the valley, jasmine and peach. Let me tell you, jasmine and peach, that's a mix. And then the base, musk and black currant. Usually black currant is at the top of fragrances, not at the base. So let's see what this one is giving. Oh, that's a very nice atomizer. Did you see that? Wow. Mm. Oh, this one is strong. Very strong. I'm getting a blast of fruits, but it's very strong. Mm. Okay, it's fruity. I'm gonna have to spray it again because it's kinda, 
like it's a burst there in the beginning and it comes like in your face and then after that it completely settles so okay I'm getting peach from this black currant I am picking up as well you know that there's musk in there it has a little bit of freshness but this is a fruity fragrance hands down I've sprayed the rest so I am going to spray this one let's go over to this arm now and um, let's just spray it here on my wrist. Okay. <laughs> mm, it's very fruity. It's reminding me of like a kind of tangy fruit punch, if that makes sense. Like it's tangy, but it's still very, very sweet. Like you have fruit punch, a fruit punch bowl in front of you with some ice, okay? but it has grapefruit slices in there. There's sugar at the bottom, like you've mixed it, but it's still sugar at the bottom of your fruit punch bowl. Yeah, yeah, it's a fruity fragrance. It's likable, yes, but I wanna see compared to the others how I feel. You know, it, it's it's full of fruits though. Let me tell you that, it is full of fruits. I'm not smelling like, did was it Lily of the Valley? Jasmine, okay, Jasmine is in here lily of the valley like but i'm getting fruits maybe as it dries down i'll get a little bit more of that the white floor from the jasmine let's see look y'all this fragrance haul so far it's a win it's a win let's keep going okay the next one on the list is from zamaya and it's called fatima velvet love fatima velvet love look at the case this comes in like the roses here I think the fragrance is in here right here like this is super cute so let's give it a open and see what it's giving <laughs> okay so here it is wow okay giving parfums to Marley vibes with the tassels here okay here's that Oh, oh, and I thought that would be a different fabric. It's actually, it's, I mean, like plastic. It's actually fabric. Okay, stepping their game up a little, a little sham sham. <laughs> and here's the bottle. It's cute, purple. You know, looking like a cheap perfume to Marley. I'm not gonna lie, but let's see. Oh, the whole top comes. <laughs> The tassels don't come off with Parfums to Marley, so that's why I was kind of thrown off a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's read the notes. Okay, Zamaya Fatima Velvet Love. The top has violet, bergamot, and pear. Pear, you already know. The mid has rose and lavender, argawood, and the base has oud and vanilla. Okay, this is the first one I believe that we have oud. So let's see how that goes. Is it really gonna bring a strong oud? Is it gonna have balance? It has vanilla in there. So yes, let's see. Pear, bergamot. Hmm. Ooh, this has a nice atomizer too. Okay. Mm, I'm smelling the oud from that first spray. Oud is definitely present in this fragrance okay there's some fruits it's floral as well but there is oud this is taking me down a woody vibe it's taking me down a little bit of an arabic lane but it's still pretty it is still pretty hmm what else does this have in here okay violet is coming through rose mm, lavender I don't get a lot of rose from this. I am smelling lavender, but rose? No, there's bergamot in here. Yes, but I I'm getting oud, y'all. I'm getting oud. I've already put the other fragrances on my skin, so I'm gonna continue, and let's put this on right here. This fragrance, It smells, it smells good, but there's something in there that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Like, I think it's the oud, possibly the argawood, but more than likely the oud that's making me feel the way I am. Like, 
it smells nice, right? But maybe it needs to macerate and sit a little bit because that oud is really becoming like sort of the star of the show, like somewhat, not 100%, but somewhat. And with that, it's throwing me off just a little bit. Like it smells nice, but with the oud sitting down next to everything else that smells nice, it's like, okay, we need to take a back seat. So yes, we're definitely gonna have to let this one sit and, and come back to it. Up next, I have Latafa's Mora Silky Rose. <laughs> yes, a lot of people have talked about this. Um, not necessarily Delina-esque like Rose 01 from Swiss Arabian. However, it's supposed to be like a soft, sweet rose smell. Oh my gosh, look at this out of the box. <laughs> look at this. Okay, so we still have tassels, but a different look, a different look. Not like Fatima Velvet Love. All right, it has this top. I don't know, it's just like cheap plastics. I'm like, okay, but... Yeah, it's the bot. I like the bottle better than the cap. Let's just say that. Um, but it's cute. So let's bring up the notes. So for the infamous Mara Silky Rose, the top rose lychee pink pepper, the mid rose musk lily of the valley, the base musk again, vanilla and patchouli. Wow, like. <laughs> The, all these fragrances, rose, musk, fruits, vanilla. So, yes, let's see what Ma, Moira, am I saying it right? Is it Mara or, or Mo, Mo, Mahra? Mora? Mora? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry if I butchered any of these names. I didn't make that disclosure, but yes, I'm trying my best here, okay? Don't, don't blame me. Just don't blame me. Mm, I'm smelling it already. This is sweet, but it's soft, right? Like, Tuscan Marina, it's very sweet. Like, that fruit punch, sugar, sweetness, okay? <laughs> this right here, while it is sweet, it's soft. It smells like it's more blended than Tuscan Marina. And this is nice, but it's not like Rosa 1. Rosa 1 has literally turned into Delina and Delina La Rose on my hand. That's literally what it has turned into. I mean, that they've got that Delina DNA. They have got it down packed with Arabian with Rosa 01. They do. Now, it's not straight Delina and it's not, it's not Delina Rose. It's a mixture between the two, but it is really good. It is good. And that's coming from someone who doesn't like Delina. But this doesn't smell like that. I'm not getting that Delina DM DNA in here. I am getting rose. I am getting musk. The patchouli is there, but it's definitely in the background. It's not the main star of the show. And yeah, this is nice. Like, this is nice. We have to spray this. Let's spray Mohra right here. This is a nice fragrance. It really is nice. It's soft, sweet, not too much, like your everyday fragrance. You can wear this out on a date. You can wear it, you know, just doing everyday things. You could wear it to work. Like this one right here is probably gonna be like one of my staples for work, to be honest with you, because it's light but it's still bringing a little something, you know? And if it smells like this and has sillage and projection, ah, oh my goodness, oh my gosh. Okay, these fragrances, like you guys, these fragrances, I'm impressed. I am impressed for the amount of money that I spent, $20, $30 on each of these bottles, and they're bringing this? Like, this is good, this is good. So let's go through, let's smell the dry downs, and then let's rank them. It's number six, not gonna be a surprise. 
it is the Porto um, Neroli. It just didn't do it for me. Not smelling like the original Tom Ford at all. Giving a cheap shampoo-y vibe. And yeah, it's it's a lot of syntheticness in there and it's just, it's just not doing it for me. So that's number six. Number five, I have to say it's Tasking Marina. I was expecting a little bit more from this fragrance. I was expecting it to, you know, it opened with a lot of fruitiness, but now in the dry down, it's not really giving anything. It's like, you know, when you, you back in the day, okay, back, back in the day when, you know, your TV, and this was back when I was very, very young, okay, had the intent, you had a TV with an antenna, and sometimes you heard, mm. <laughs> that's what this is giving me. <laughs> that's what this is giving me. Mm, like no what happened to the fruit <laughs> what happened to the blast that I, what happened to the fruit punch like you on mute now like what happened to you Tosca Marina you went on mute so yes that's why it's number five number four okay this is when it gets a little bit more difficult but number four yes I'm gonna give it to Fatima Velvet Love this is an it's a nice fragrance but I feel like it needs to macerate. It really, really does. The oud, like I said, came out in the beginning. Now it's taking a step back. I mean, it smells nice, but I do feel like if I let it sit, it could possibly give more. So I'm gonna let that sit. We're gonna come back to it, but that's number four. Okay, this is so super tough for me. This is, was not an easy decision because these top three, I love them all. But I'm going to give number three to Latafa Moira. I am. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, okay? Just because it's number three doesn't mean that it's not hitting. Right now, it is smelling so beautiful on my skin. It's settled down. It has a bit of a sweetness. The rose is there. There is some powderiness to this as well. And it is a beautiful fragrance. Like, I feel like, you know, you could be young, you could be a little bit older, and you could still wear this fragrance. It's just, it's a beaut, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. For the price, <laughs> wow, this is absolutely worth it, 100%, and I love that scent. Okay, so next, these top two. This is really difficult because Mystique Bouquet is just, from the first time I sprayed that, oh my God, I fell in love with that scent. But at the same time, Rose or One is hitting. But that Delina composition, I do, I do, you know, love Parfums de Marley. I absolutely do. And, um, and yeah, I'm gonna give Rose or One number two spot it is beautiful definitely calling parfums de marley and yes swiss arabian did their thing like there's no doubt like this is a beautiful rose fragrance like if you're interested in parfums de marley okay but you you've thought about it you're on the fence you think it's expensive please look into getting this fragrance like i don't know what else to say it's beautiful. This is your Delina, your Delina La Rose. It absolutely is. So you know what that means. Our number one fragrance, Mystique Bouquet. Afnan. Outstanding. Outstanding. Pear, okay? White pear at that with such a beautiful blend. The dry down is impeccable. Like, this is Valaya. This literally is Valaya, okay? When Joma Shop has a sale for Parfums de Marley and Valaya is involved, it always sells out. It always sells out. The last two times they had a sale, I was going to pick up Valaya and I had it in my cart at one time. I got busy doing other stuff. I went back. It has sold out. The second time, I missed it completely. It was sold out. For lying out. I have Mystique Bouquet. Absolutely a beautiful scent. I am so happy to have this. So this was a fabulous summer and spring 
Oh, I'm gonna be smelling so nice. Like after this, <laughs> y'all can't tell me nothing, okay? Call me the Arabian queen, okay? Arabian night, Arabian day. <laughs> yes, because Mystique Bouquet and uh, Rose 01 and that Mora, like, oh, <laughs> out of control. I, I can't, I've said, I think all I have to say because these fragrances are outstanding. The only one that I'm like, I made it clutter is Porto Neroli. The others, I think I'm good. Tuscan, I'm gonna let it sit. And the others, I am good. So yes, you've made it this far. If you are not subscribed, make sure to hit that button below and subscribe, okay? Did your girl deliver? Go ahead, ride with your girl. Vibe with your girl. Subscribe to your girl, okay? I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked anything in this video, you learned anything new, or even if you laugh. Like, it'll support my channel. So, thank you for that. Virtual hugs. <laughs> yes, and don't forget, you better never ever forget that you are beautiful, okay? You are one of a kind. There's nobody else in this world like you. And most importantly, you are loved. And if nobody else told you today, don't worry, your girl T got you. I love you, okay? Mwah! Check out some of my other videos. We expanded our collections around here, okay? <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.